Cowboy Jim, eh? Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada. It is with absolute fear and trembling that I sit in front of this laptop today because I know what God's blessing is. I can see when I do a video, when God's hand is on that video. And uh, I don't want to make a video that is not blessed by the Creator. And uh, so I finished my regular days of work, seven. Prior to that, I had seven days off. I worked five, I think. Prior to that, seven, oh, and I've slept for three days straight. I woke up to use the washroom and to get myself a coffee. I recognize when I am exhausted. I know when I have put myself through too much. I become emotional. And otherwise, I'm not emotional in chapter. Oh, not very. But I did... Um, I did a video five videos ago, I think, uh, and it went kind of like this. When the Creator calls you to do something, He will equip you. My Creator is so special. <laughs> oh, way beyond religion way beyond that known sense, way beyond uh, self-righteousness. Uh, I've spent a lot of time the last couple of days sitting out back, having a coffee and a smoke. So I, the reason I say that is I want you to know I'm not perfect, eh? <laughs> I question that any of you wondered about that, <laughs> but I'm not. But I have a heart for people. Okay. And uh, I, uh, I, uh, I live alone. I. <laughs> <laughs> sequestered away in this little basement apartment. Biggest problem of my having life is doing my stupid dishes. Last night I went out for supper, Fort Mac. I ordered a seven ounce steak by some <laughs> stretch of the imagination they screwed up and oh well if I were in business I'd screw up if I could double the bill and uh, they brought me a 10 ounce steak medium rare I would have cooked it better I mean I would I can cook any idiot can cook you know perhaps not but, but pretty close so I, I thought, oh, I'm going to be generous. So I pulled 40 bucks out of my wallet. Well, good Lord. The bloody bill came to forty one ninety five. I ate $41.95 worth of crap that I could could well have cooked better at home. And I thought, okay, suck it up, princess. On overtime, you make $60.75 an hour. So, anyways, I don't whine. I don't complain. I like to say, 
Uh, I don't want to offend the sensitive, but I say I don't whine, bitch, nor complain. And the reason is I don't. I don't. So uh, I, the little lady, she wondered if I wanted to pay a debit. I said, no, I'll just give you, you know, that old-fashioned stuff that I carry in my wallet. So I, I reached in and I pulled another 20 out and I, I gave her 60 bucks and she said, I'll go get you change. I said, no, lady, I don't need change. I may need a change, but I don't need change. And uh, I showed her my YouTube channel. She said, oh, I said, I have 484 videos on this thing about God, about the Creator, about the joy of being a believer, of choosing to be a believer. And I walked out and I got into my 20 plus year old Dodge Cummins Dooley club cab, four by four, one ton. I fired that old girl up and I, I drove down the side of a building in order to find the place where I could turn the big girl around. And I saw a lady on the sidewalk in the shade uh, beside a building. And as I drove by, I saw uh, her backpack. I saw her blanket. I saw other stuff. And I, I got, got about 100 feet away. And I stopped my truck. As I looked in the rear view mirror, I saw a kid walking over to her. And so I put her in reverse and I backed up and I stopped in front of the lady. I don't know how old she was. Uh, I think in the 30, maybe 40, uh, but more inclined to be 30. I saw a 14 year old boy leaning beside the building. He is gonna protect his mama. And I looked at her and I said, I said, would you allow me the privilege and the honor of helping you out a tiny bit? She said, yes. She didn't get up. She's sitting on the sidewalk in the shade. I said, I would be honored to help you a little. So I pulled my wallet out. I carry him. Trust me, I, uh, I carry a dollar, okay, just in case. I said, uh, I said, uh, thank you. I handed her uh, a dollar. I don't mean a dollar. And uh, I said, lady, you use this wisely because I really have to work hard for my dollar. I said, uh, you use this, uh, please use this wisely. Now that's, you're not supposed to do that on YouTube, okay? Sounds terrible. I'm gonna be very humbled when this plays, but that's okay. I thought, as I drove away, I thought, uh, but for the grace of God, uh, one of my little sisters could well be that lady. And, and, and I was trying to think, of, what could I have said? I mean, how, what more uh, I could, could I have done? I thought, the lady is an abused lady. That's her son. 
I looked into brown eyes. I have kind of brown green eyes. And uh, I didn't see addiction. I didn't see any of those things. And I thought, you know, uh, we, we on occasion, uh, whether we want to admit it or not, we on occasion uh, meet angels unaware. And I, I know that I met one when I was 18 uh, north, of, north of Peterborough. Uh, first time in my life I ever heard wolves howling and I, I was lost. I was down to my last cigar. And I mean, I was in trouble. I could not backtrack uh, two inches of snow. I mean, I had walked through a big swamp. I had walked along the edge of a cliff. I had heard an animal sliding up above me, and it was a deer, and that deer didn't come over, but there were a pack of wolves chasing that deer, and I, I was inundated uh, with what my mom would not have been proud of me for having experienced in that she told me when I was young, very, very, very young, she said, do not ever fear anything. I'm terribly reminded of my old Aunt Sadie. And uh, she, uh, she said to me one evening as I, I worked in our campground uh, at Wasega Beach, uh, uh, I started working when I was nine or eleven down in the in the main street of Wasega, and I I worked hard, but I had always worked hard, and uh, I I took martial arts. I I used to stand in front of a concrete wall, and I punched it uh, until my knuckles broke stupid thing to do but it taught me uh, I am not affected by pain like some but my old aunt she said to me Jimmy oh geez don't call me Jimmy eh children but she said Jimmy you're gonna die I said Aunt Zadie we're all gonna die she said yeah I know but you're going to die real soon. And I said, but why? She said, because you are not afraid. You're not afraid of anything. I said, I don't like step ladders. She said, that doesn't count. She said, what are you afraid of? I said, Aunt Sadie, what, what should I be afraid of? Well, a year ago, I... <laughs> I, uh, I met a lady, and uh, for the first time in my life, I was afraid. I couldn't even talk to the lady. I mean, I couldn't. Couldn't do anything. But anyways, I don't know if God's going to anoint this. I don't know if God's going to bless this. But I want you to know, I want you to know uh, there's a lady tonight in Fort Mac who's going to sleep with her, look like about a 12, 14 year old son, and they're going to sleep on the sidewalk in Fort Mac. I have uh, another three, four days off and then I'm going back to work. I'm going to bust my buns. I'm going to work like nothing you have ever seen. I, I, I make uh, 
$38 an hour running truck. I make uh, $40.50 an hour running equipment. Oh, those are overtime. I make $60.75 a month. You should know. There's a woman out there. She's sleeping on the sidewalk. It's not right. I dedicated my YouTube channel to fight against abuse. Kevin Kyle Smith, that sort of abuse. I can't do anything about it, eh? I can't. I mean, June. I mean, June. I will. Well, I remember the beautiful, beautiful, tall French girl, skinny. Oh, dear Lord, she was skinny. At Robin's Donuts in Airdrie 25, 27, 30 years ago. She didn't have enough money to buy a battery to put, put, put in her little VW van. But I can't change er, ever, everything. Shoot. I would throw money at it. Well, I would. Because I don't need money. I have enough. I don't have much. I don't have to work. I could take some time off. But I want to make a plea to you. I want you to understand. You are the only representative visible before the people around you who you can choose to represent the Creator. I... I gave that little girl last night a dollar. I don't mean one. I gave her what I felt led of God to give her. And I said, I said, uh, look up Cowboy Jim on YouTube. She said, I think I've seen you. I hope so. So is God going to bless this video? I don't know. Will this video touch a heart? I don't know. My choice would be, my hope would be, yes. Yes, let this video make a difference in somebody's life. Because Jesus the Christ said, I am the way. I reach out, I put my hand on my Bible. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is no other name given unto mankind whereby you must be saved. John 3, 16. I'm going to try to blow my nose without making noise. Oh, dear Lord. Well, that worked out. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I spent, since I was in grade one, I was five years old, I guess when I got my first Bible, I've read it quite a bit since. You're going to live till you die. Only you can determine where you're going to spend eternity. And this is how you do it. You say, God, forgive me. I accept that your son, Jesus, the Christ, suffered, bled, and died on the cross for my sins. I am so sorry for having lived the way I have. Help me to be what you want me to be. Okay, children. 
God blesses this. Because I didn't want to make it. I didn't want to make this thing. I thought, I'm going to mess up. I'm going to get too much flesh in here. Oh, children, believe in the Creator. Believe in His Son under the unction of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I'm over. Well, I really don't care. But I care for you. I care for you. God bless you. Is your sister sleeping on the sidewalk tonight? Your mom? Your daughter? Is she? Oh, I pray no. I pray no. God bless you. God bless. God bless you.